Hey guys, Luna here. Welcome back to another Elden Ring quest guide video, where we will be going over how to complete Var's quest, which is not too long, but it is quite difficult. And once you're done, you will receive this armor and weapons you see here, the Flower Bouquet and the War Surgeon's Armor Set. So let's jump straight into it. You first meet Var as soon as you begin the game in Limgrave. After defeating Godric, Var will appear at the Round Table Hold, and then after you speak with him, he will be moved to the Rules Church in Liurnia of the Lakes. Speak with him and he will give you five bloody fingers and you have to use three of them to invade others' worlds. Whether you live or die, after you've done that and you return to Var, he will ask you to join his order. Accept and he will give you the Lord of Blood's favour item, requesting you to soak it in the blood of a maiden. The closest is the maiden in the Church of Inhibition and that's a good one to get because it's also an armour set you can pick up from that maiden and then you can soak the blood and return to Var. You access it by heading left from the Grand Lift and up the hills, however you can use any dead maiden you find in the game. Once you return with a blood soaked favour he rewards you with a reusable bloody finger. If you speak with him again, you will receive the Pure Blood Knight's Medallion that you can use to lead you to Mogwine's Palace, where you fight Mog Lord of the Blood. But you don't need to finish and kill him for this quest to come to an end. To get where you're going next, we need to reach the Consecrated Snowfields that requires you to have both the Halig Tree Medallions. One is found in a pot in the village of Albanorix, and the other is in the room after defeating Commander Nial at Sol Castle. Use the medallions of the Grand Lift of Roll to access the secret area and reach the snowfields. From here head left and unfortunately you will need to defeat two different invading enemies first in order to reach the teleporter to take you to Palace of Mog. However one gives you the awesome looking sanguine blood noble armor so it is worth it. After defeating behind them is the teleporter to the Mogwine Palace. You need to travel all the way until you reach the Dynasty Mausoleum just before you fight Mog and next to the Grace Point is a teleporter for fighting Var, but be careful as he is super tough. After defeating, you can rest at the Grace Site and Var will be lying on the ground. You can speak with him to get his Flower Bouquet weapon. Now we're not done here, we have to go to the swamp areas below and there is some crazy bird creatures that will attack you and we're going to avoid those because they do a lot of damage. But here you will fight two different nameless white mask invaders and the first one you travel from the approach ledge and get to just before where the birds are and then you can fight it without alerting the bird. The second is a slightly different route to get there and you can sneak past the bird in order to reach him. Again, both of these fights are pretty tough, but after you defeat them you will get Var's War Surgeon armor set and you will complete the quest line. So guys, that is it for another Elden Ring quest walkthrough. Let me know what you think in the comments about VAR, and like and subscribe for more Elden Ring videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.